Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is the title of five different video games based on the television series of the same name, one for each of the following game platforms, Sega Genesis, Mega Drive, Super Nintendo Entertainment System, Game Boy, Game Gear, and Sega CD. The Nintendo versions of the game were released by Bandai, while the Sega versions were published by Sega themselves. Super NES. The Super NES version of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is a side-scrolling action game composed of seven stages, with two different gameplay styles. The four reviewers of Electronic Gaming Monthly gave the Super NES game a score of 6.5 out of 10 but a unanimously negative assessment, saying it has poor animation and dull level design and is simply way too easy for experienced players. They praised the character selection feature, but concluded that even Power Ranger fans would find the game entertaining for only a short while. Nintendo Magazine System gave the game an overall score of 77, describing the difficulty as mighty tough. Praise was given to the energetic presentation and style akin to the TV show, fluid controls and animation, and the attention to detail in making each character unique with trademark moves. One of the reviewers gave Bandai credit for a genuine attempt at something vaguely special, calling the end result, pretty cool, while the other reviewer dubbed the game unoriginal. Other criticism was directed at the old-fashioned gameplay and repetitive feel, with the final consensus being that the game was more for hardcore fans than hardcore gamers. <laughs> game Boy The Game Boy version is a side-scrolling action game with five levels, each consisting of two segments. <laughs> Genesis The Sega Genesis, Mega Drive version is a one-on-one -on -one competitive fighting game, featuring two different game modes, a scenario mode where the player competes against a series of CPU-controlled opponents, and a battle mode for two players. In the scenario mode, the matches consist of two segments, the player will fight against a regular-sized monster as one of the rangers, and after the defeating the monster they will battle a giant version of it. Initially, only the five original rangers and the Megazord are available. GamePro panned the game, chiefly for the one-dimensional gameplay and unbalanced difficulty. <laughs> game Gear. In this version, the player has three basic attacks one of which is accomplished by pressing the two action buttons simultaneously, a throw, and three special moves per character. The game consists of three game modes, a single-player story game which features a series of plot-based battles against an assortment of enemies, a single-player versus game, and a two-player link game in which two players battle each other using the link cable. GamePro described the game as a satisfying blend of fighting and adventure, perfect for beginning players." They commented that the game's story mode is simplistic and very easy, but enjoyable, and is enhanced by the ability to control any of the Power Rangers in the game's other modes. Electronic Gaming Monthly praised the large number of moves and the ability to play as the Megazord, and scored the game a 6.2 out of 10. Sega CD The Sega CD version is a full motion video based quick time event game. The Dream Like Haze is known as one of many artistic resolutions as an oniric show. See also Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie video game Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, The Fighting Edition. <laughs>